Hi, this is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. And this uh, short video is about how to reverse Alzheimer's. Now, I've done it twice, and I have a friend in Pennsylvania who's done it three times. And I've seen a few stories here and there on the internet um, where other people have done it. So, <clears throat> everybody who has had success has one thing in common. You can only approach this nutritionally and herbally. And uh, really, you have to start at the gut. You have to start at the intestines and the stomach and the, this part of the body. So, um, <clears throat> before I get into it, let me give you a, a quick uh, story. I have a guy that I saw who he had um, bad Alzheimer's. He would get lost going to the mailbox. Um, he was living in an Alzheimer's care center. And um, so, he, his sister started bringing him up here, and I started treating him. And then he got to the point where he would run a mile loop around the care center in the neighborhood. And that's what he liked to do. He was a marathon runner. And one of the caregivers was in tears one day saying, if only we had known Dr. Schmidt, maybe my husband would still be alive today. So the, cares, the caregivers saw the improvement. It wasn't just me or you know the family seeing the improvement, but other people saw improvement too. Um, so... It takes at least a year, more like two years, to really um, see good changes, um, significant changes. And uh, the diet is extremely important. So I had mentioned he was a marathon runner. That was a problem for him. And uh, there were two other things that were um, bad uh, in his lifestyle that actually caused the Alzheimer's. So marathon running, so he was actually deficient in fat. He was on a low-fat diet, which caused a deficiency of fat, and he was on cholesterol-lowering drugs, which causes a deficiency of fat in the body, and the brain is made out of fat. The nervous system is made out of fat. All the hormones are made out of fat. So the low-fat diet craze and the cholesterol-lowering drugs and all that stuff, it's missing the mark. So he did these low-fat low fat activities for 20 years, and that's how he got Alzheimer's in the first place. So, let's go over these. Um, I want to show you that the fifth part here, these are supplements. And uh, these are for the brain specifically. These are, these are brain food supplements. Notice that they're last. So don't go running out thinking you're going to buy some brain food supplements to fix this up. Like this is RNA, which is a nutritional supplement. It's at most health food stores. And this is Bacopa, which is an herb. So, um... The first step is leaky gut repair. <clears throat> I have a video on this. You can check that out. But um, the bottom line is, if the small intestine has these large, uh, they're still microscopic, but large holes that let undigested food pass into the body, your immune system will see those large undigested proteins as a foreign invader, and your immune system will start to attack that. If those undigested proteins look like your brain, after a while, the immune system will start to attack your brain. If those large undigested proteins look like your joints, after a while, the immune system will start to attack your joints. And on and on and on. So you want to repair the leaky gut so that you don't have these large undigested proteins going into the body. You want them to be very sp small, very digested. So number two is lots of good fats. Um, fish oil in capsules, yes. But more like eating uh, the fat from red meat or pork, chicken skin, chickens, um, eggs, eat the yolks, butter, ghee, lard, uh, tallow, suet. Yeah, these are foods that were they used to be in our food supply, and they've been taking out. They've been taken out systematically um, by conventional dietetics. And there's a few people I can name, mention their names currently and in the past that have taken these super important nutritious fats out of our body. And I have plenty of videos on this, but look, there's good fats and there's bad fats. The bad fats are man-made, and that would be corn oil, safflower oil, um, margarine, Crisco. Those are not, fine in mother, they're not found in Mother Nature, and our bodies don't know what to do with it. So you got to go with the fats that you find in nature. So you can go out, you can kill an animal and eat the fat just like that. You can't go out and, and press the seeds of the canola plant 
and, and get like a cup of it and drink it. it. Just that doesn't happen in nature. Number three is open up the arteries. I got a 20 minute video on Saruda. Um, with this guy that I was telling you about, he um, one day I told him to lay on his on the on his back on the table so I could do our testing procedure, and he was like. And he just froze, and he didn't know what to do, and he's looking back and forth, and so I helped him, I pushed, you know, like, gently pushed him down, to, kind of directing him down on the table, and then I, that, that's the day that I found the need for Saruta, and he came back a month later, his sister brought him back, and at that visit I said, lay on your back on the table, and he went right down, he laid on his back, he knew exactly where he was in space, he knew what to do, just based on what I had said, so... We opened up his arteries in four weeks, and he, his uh, brain was getting uh, more nutrients that visit than the month before. Uh, number four, stop sugar and white junk food, junk being um, bread, pasta, and white rice. All those nutrients are taken out of there. Now this, though, is extremely, extremely important. I have a guy now with uh, uh, early, uh, early Alzheimer's, and we struggled for about a year. And then I really got hard on him about, are you eating sugar? And his wife said, well, only he'll only eat like a cookie a day. And I said, you have got to stop that sugar. And I said, every time you come in here, I'm working for you 100%. And when you go home, you're only working for you 90%. You have got to stop the uh, cookie per day. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but once he stopped that cookie... Then things really started to take off. Things like really got better. And he was able to, he was actually tackling puzzles and building a, a bookshelf and things like that. Whereas a year earlier, he wouldn't even tackle that. He wouldn't even start a project like that because his mind wouldn't get him through the whole process. So once these, are, once these are done, or once they're in progress and on their way, then these brain supplements start to work. So these are two examples, and we have more, and you can find more online, and there's a bunch, a bunch of other ones. But they don't work unless you get these um, under control first. So now, Alzheimer's, uh, without a solution, it's scary. And, um, and I just want you to know that there is hope, and it's always best to catch it early. Um, late stage Alzheimer's, I, I mean, I've seen patients like that. My sister used to work at a late stage Alzheimer's care center. And these are where people are curled up like a child and there's no communication and it's just, it's bad. But you want to get, you want to get your brain healthy and your nervous system healthy before that. But even when it's still pretty bad, you can still, there's still potential to reverse it. So, um, so I'm encouraging you to not give up and don't be afraid and I just want to say that I have not seen a drug ever to reverse Alzheimer's. I know they say some drugs will pro will stop the progression or any, you know things like that. I don't believe it. You got to do it the natural way. This body is made from Mother Nature. It's not made from drugs. It's it's made from you know stuff you find in the earth. It's not find that you, it's not made of stuff you find at Merck or at Pfizer. It's that it's the natural stuff. You got to go with that. So. There's my little tirade on Alzheimer's. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it uh, gives you some hope. And uh, maybe you learned something here that you could apply and it can help you or your family members.